Okay, <clears throat> we will talk about move tools. The first way to move this, if you need to move only a little bit, you can use your keyboard arrows, left and right. Just press it left side, the left, look at it, it's moving to the left. If I press the right key also in my keyboard, it will go to the right. Second one, you see under modify, when I select the wall, by default, the modify tab, this one will show up. This contextual tab we show up. So from here, select move. You see, this one is move. Click on this move first. Then once you click the move, it has a boundary. It will show you a boundary that this is the selected part. So go there, just zoom in a little bit, click in this wall when you see any point, click and hold it, then move it to the left. Hold the key. I mean, hold your left, left, uh, left click in your in your mouse and move it to the left. Then, once you reach the destination where you put it, then click there. <coughs> Again, I'll repeat. I'll I'll select the wall first. What? Because this is the wall what I want to move. Then go to click the move tools. Then click and hold the wall and move it, you can move it, so once you reach the right destination, then release, click on the, on the place, so you can move the walls using this way, but the problem is, the wall is joined, I don't want the, the horizontal wall, this is the horizontal wall and vertical wall, I don't like the horizontal wall to follow the vertical wall when I moved it, so for that also we have an option, first I'll select this wall, then click move then before you click the wall over here you see this one what do we call this one option bar this we have here constraint the other one is disjoint remove click on this disjoint if you click the disjoint which means it will move only the wall so the horizontal wall remain same place i'll click against the wall move it to this location now have a look the horizontal wall remains the same place, but the vertical wall is moved. Again, I will undo. To undo, Control Z on your keyboard. Or you have here at the top, undo, you can click once. The wall will return back. The second one, select the wall and click move. So if I move the wall, see, I can move it anywhere. See, I can rotate because you see this one constraint over here if you mark the constraint click that constraint the constraint if you mark it only we can take the wall right angle triangle like vertically or horizontally you cannot uh, send it anywhere now i make constraint then i will move it i can move it this way to the left or straight down or up or to the right so i'll move it here it's gone <coughs> So if you want to separate it from wall, make sure that you chose the disjoint. Move again. If I remove the constraint, look, I'll move this wall from here in, in this area. So this way we can move it. Second one, to copy, I'll select this small wall, the one that I created. Any, you can select any, don't worry. I'll select this one. <coughs> the second tool is copy. I'll copy this. Click copy, then select the wall, like a base point, we are choosing a base point when you select the wall. Select the wall and move it anywhere. It's done. I copied one. But I need to copy multiple times because you cannot click it like AutoCAD, copy, 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 click, click, click. Just select the wall again and again copy. You have another way in this option bar, multiple. Make it mark multiple. So what is this constraint again? Uh, same like ortho in AutoCAD. If you need to stay, uh, send it straight or right and up. So I'll make it <coughs> constraint. So if I want to copy multiple times, I need to copy it. Click here, click here, click here. So this way we can copy it multiple times. If you want to delete, just cross selection. Same like AutoCAD. Select it and press delete in your keyboard to delete. Again, to copy, 
I will select it. I will select the wall. Click copy and remove constraint. You can click the multiple, no problem. You can keep it the multiple. I need plenty more in different location. So this way you can copy anywhere else. Once you finished, press escape or click on this modify. You can press escape in your keyboard or you can click this modify. So it means like escape. If some dialog box shown up like this, don't bother, just click cancel. <coughs> okay. So I'll remove this all. Second way to delete. The first one, I make cross selection, then press delete in your keyboard. The second one, we have here an option delete. You see this one? Modify tab, X, red color, click that one, it will go. Third, offset. So instead of copying multiple times, like when you copy, I can click copy. By giving uh, the value, also I can copy. Just make it constraint first and multiple. I'll select the wall. I'll move it. I'll zoom in first. You see, once you move the, once you copy the wall, it shows you a dimension, default dimension, temporary. It shows you 2,000. So if I want to make copy every 3,000, just click 3,000, enter. So this one is 3,000. Again, I need to write 3,000, enter. So once you finish, escape. But instead of this one, offset is much better, easiest way to do. So go to select the wall. This one is the offset above copy, you see? Offset, click that offset. So <clears throat> once you click offset, in this option bar again, you will have graphical and numerical. And offset is written. So in this offset, give it by, let's say, 1000. Every 1000, I need to give, I need to copy the wall. So hover your mouse to the wall. See, if you hover your mouse to this corner, it will bring the wall this way. If you hover your mouse to this corner, it will bring it this way. So I'll hover my mouse here. I'll click here. One. Again. Click. 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 So this one is every 1000 mm. It's offsetting. <clears throat> All right, another. Now let's see align, align tools. You see this wall over here. I want to align it with this. This wall, I want to align with this one, for instance. I need to make it parallel with this one. So, how to use this uh, align tools? First, I need to select the align tools, go to modify, tap, then this one is align tools. And it shows you also, when you hover to Align Tools, it shows us the shortcut of Align is AL. AL is the shortcut. Just click Align. Now, I'll come here. First, you need to choose the source from here. Click here, because I want to align it with this one, this wall, the outer area. Select it. So now, you see, it has an indication also already. This one is aligned together. I want to align this one again. Click here and align. I want to align this wall with this. Just I need to click here. This one I need to align with this. It's aligned. So this way we can align. I want to click here. If I want to align with this one, click. You see, stretch already to the right place. If you want to undo, just click. In quick access toolbar, you have undo click once to replace it back or twice. <clears throat> okay, mirror. How to mirror this one? I need to mirror this one into the opposite side. So we have two way mirroring here. The first one is by pick axis. The second one is by draw axis. First, we will choose by pick axis. I'll click in here this wall. I need to mirror it to opposite side. So the vertical one will be like a uh, reference line. I'll use it like as a reference. This one is a mirror. So click in that mirror. Then you see when you hover your mouse to the wall it shows you center center point of the central point of uh, the wall. Just click that point. And this is the first way. 
if you click the axis or anything or you can click on a, you can create another word go to annotate first click annotate maybe you don't like to create wall you need to create line only it's, it, it should not show up in 3d but create one line for reference only once you finish you will delete so you go to annotate first you see here detail line this one all for lining like autocad drawing it's single line right you can draw it by using this one this model line just click detail line once we click the detail line it will show us here draw tools okay we have lining we have rectangle we have circle so click this line and here come here and draw the line just click once you reach the end point click there then press escape so this is a single line only i need to use it for mirroring now i'll select the wall and you see we have here mirror by draw axis which means i will draw by myself the axis then it will mirror it i will select this mirror so i will draw it from here to here like a center point here we go so this way we can mirror it to the opposite but by peak axis also i can create first i will copy this wall for example now by peak axis what same like what i did here if I choose the other one, click axis, click here, and just only one click in this line, it will mirror to the opposite side. So this way we can mirror it. We have two ways. Okay, what next? Uh, trim. <coughs> in trim, we have three types of trims. Those are the trim. The first one is trim extend corner. The second one is trim extend single element. The third one is multiple elements. Trim extend multiple elements. How to trim? Uh, this is the multiple elements first. I will select the vertical wall and together those horizontal wall, I will trim them here. I will extend them here. The, first, the second one is with single elements. I will select the vertical, then I will trim, I will uh, extend this wall to here. If you have multiples, we will choose the multiple one. And this one is a diagonal. Here, now the good thing is engraving. If you trim with this diagonal, this one with this, it will extend it. Not like Autodesk in uh, AutoCAD. What we do, you will you will select all anything you want to trim, you can trim it. But here, if I select this and this, if I trim it this and this, it will extend the boundary and fill it here. So we will see that one. I'll zoom in here. So, trim extend to corner. Click there. Then select one of the wall. And then hover it into the second wall. I'll zoom in. You see the line? It shows you that it will join at the corner. That's why they call it. Uh, trim or extend corner so click the second one again it's extending the second one is trim extend single element click the trim and extend single element and select the vertical wall first then here you see this is only for single elements you can click the other wall the horizontal wall so that it, it will extend but if you need to create again i'll copy this wall just for me instead of one by one extending you need to extend all of them multiple times just you can extend it once just select this one trim extend multiple elements click that select the vertical wall then select press control and Next, cross selection. Press control key in your keyboard, then cross selection to extend all of them. First, in your keyboard, you need to press control, then hold your mouse and make cross selection. It will extend it all. All right. <coughs> Next, uh, we already see this one delete. Pin. Pin is used for a uh, freeze in AutoCAD. If you freeze something, we cannot move it, right? <coughs> or if you lock it, 
we can move it <coughs> so it's similar now this wall if I want to move it there is another way also to move the wall the first one we saw it here right the second one just click the wall and hold just click left click hold and you can move it anywhere else and you can release I will pin this wall now if you don't like this all to move just select all the walls just hold your keyboard I mean your your mouse select then this pin just click there now I'll zoom in you see for each wall it has a symbol of pin 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 everywhere which means it's pinned already now I'll try to move it even I can't select it also In some of you can select but in my computer I can the reason is in this view control this one we have here toggle you see here down at the bottom look my mouse here you see the time over here above in this view control bar below the status bar over here you have a pin symbol right you can see here you have a pin symbol it has X if it has X which means you cannot select it this is for selection bar Re remove the X just click on that pin and try to select your wall now I can select the wall again I'll repeat it if you don't like to select the pinned elements or just simply click here here in this button and this one the pin symbol you can see it same as upper one here we have pin here so we lock it right we select all the wall we pin it once you pin it we show you this symbol which means it's pin but some of us we can select the wall some of us we cannot the reason why we cannot is here it's locked we have another option over here have a look the pin symbol the third one first second third one just for pin just click that one the pin and try to select your wall we can't but if you want to select the wall again click that pin the X will be removed the red mark X will be removed now we can select the wall okay what if I want to move the wall select the wall and try to move it I can't because it's already pinned but if you want to unpin first select the wall then go unpin the upper one over here unpin now it's unpinned already so we can move the wall anywhere but if you want to lock it again just pin and we can because we need this pin for so many things sometimes you draw duct the duct coming from there until here so the coordinator will tell you from here don't go down so sometimes when you make modification the duct in this area at low level once you put it when you move it up it will affect the other side also it's moving up because all of them are joined you remember here we say disjoint right for the wall you need to remove the wall separately we make it disjoint but if it's not disjoint once you move the other wall it will affect the other wall so maybe the, the horizontal wall is from here until here we need it 3 meters from there until here but when you move this vertical wall over this way what will happen? this one will stretch more than 3 meters but they will give you exceptions don't move this wall anywhere only move the other side so you will pin it once you reach the cable triangle here pin that one so that you cannot move it up and down only you will split now here I'll select this one we will see how to split for instance, uh, you want to split from this part. I will split this wall from this part. First, go to modify. And here we have split element. Click the split element. Then it will show you same like uh, pen symbol just 
move your cursor here into the center then click it it will show you a line so press escape then select the left side wall this one is the splitted wall so you can press delete in your keyboard so the the wall has deleted i will undo it back control z to undo twice control z again <clears throat> the split is disappeared the wall has returned back the second one the second part is split with gap now i need this wall this part wall i need it aligned with the, with the next walls i only need to split in the middle area so for that case you you can choose split with gap click that one and select click here in this middle and select another also choose another place to cut it select there then click modify or press escape in your keyboard now we see if i zoomed in these parts are split so select the middle wall this is what i want what i want remove it so still the wall we have but from center we separate them we deleted it if you want to join back just select the wall you see the dot the middle one just click and hold it drag it to the next wall it will show you an indication like pink color rectangle leave it there so it will it will be joined if you want to separate it again it will separate so this way we can split it All right, here another one we have array also in Revit. I will select this wall every 2000 mm. I need to put plenty of walls or to copy it several times, or maybe sometimes we have lighting fixture or diffuser. So, if you know the ceiling height, for instance, if they told you put every 1800 mm lighting fixture. So by copying, you can make it copy 1,800, copy 1,800, or by offsetting also, you can make it. But if it is corridor, we need around 30 light fixture. So to save your time, you can use uh, this array. Just select the wall, this small wall, and click array. So from here, it asks you number two. First, I'll draw two. And shows us here last and con constraint we already know right it's ortho we can make it constraint I need to make it straight <clears throat> so first I'll move to second one I'll choose the second one click the wall and move it over here by 1800 just press 1800 in your keyboard then enter once you finished so it shows me here it shows me two right here number two two is indicating for the number of walls that I selected if I put here five or eight eight piece and press enter have a look all of them are grouped but it creates f numbers of walls one two three four five six seven eight you can add from here additional if you, if you have 18 you can make 18 and enter so it will become 18 words if you don't like it you can make it 10 enter so that now once you finish that just select all the words and click ungroup because all of them are grouped so you can select all of them you can ungroup them again I will select the wall, I'll zoom in, you can see it. I will select the wall, click array, and there is a second one, last, it shows me last. How many do you need? Because I will choose first the starting point and the last. So if you give them the number of uh, walls, what I want from the first one to the last, it will show me. For instance, I have here one wall, then I will show it if I chose the last one here. We have second and last, right? The first one is second. From here to here, I need 1,800 mm. So it will give me 1,800 mm. 
So by giving in that number, I can increase every 1800 mm. The second one is last. So I will choose one wall here and another wall here. So if I ask it, five number of walls from starting point to end of the point, it will count one, it will add here the remaining. Then the last one will be the fifth one. This is the array, how it works. Now, <clears throat> I'll give it here first. First, I, I said, sorry. First, I select the wall. Array. I'll choose the last. Then I'll give it five numbers. So, from start from here to the end point is, I need it here. Now, look. You see the group? I give it this part and this part. So, it gives me equally. It divides it equally. I didn't give it offset every this much minute because if I give it offset, it, it could be clashed because I don't know the right point. So it gives me equally five. If you zoomed in, it shows me five. Here you can add or you can reduce. I'll make it three, then click outside, three. So this all of them are grouped already. If you select them all, are array. So by selecting all, you can here ungroup. Click ungroup. You can move it here. Now, if you have lots of uh, <coughs> complicated things works in MEP, for instance, when you do something in chilled water or any cooling towers or something, we have lots of complicated pipe rotation, right? So, if this pipe rotation is uh, popping there, 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 everywhere, so what you will do? Just you need to select one by one all the the plumbing or the piping, then you can pop it everywhere. So sometimes you will miss something, right? So to avoid that things, we can make it group. You can group it, then you can pop it everywhere. Now, how to group this, this walls? For instance, I'll select these walls, this part of walls. I'll create them as a group. So select these walls, then over here, you have create group. Create group, click there. It will ask you the name. Just give it any name, one one. Then press OK. <coughs> now, once I select this wall, it's becoming grouped already. So I can copy it everywhere. Just copy this one here, this one here. So whatever is selected, you can copy it anywhere. But you need to make sure that you ungroup it all once you complete. The reason why I'm asking you this one, during the schedule, creating the schedule for material submittal or uh, for the number of uh, fittings or the pipe size and so on, it doesn't count this uh, group one. First, you need to explode it, like ungroup. Mm -hmm. So, otherwise you need to make it separately. First, I'll select this group file and here we have ungroup. Click ungroup. Let's go. Select, ungroup. Okay, now you can select it one by one. If I select this one, it's group file are select. So ungroup. Okay. There we go. This way we can group and ungroup. <clears throat> Alright, last one. Selection. How do we make selection? In this one, we can make cross selection and the other side also window selection. If you hold your mouse, just left click your mouse and move it from right to the left, that's cross selection. So if you see, if you zoomed in, it shows you like dot dot line. So if the mouse, if the cursor is passing through or if it's crossing through anything, it will select it all. Now, here, you see now the wall, I didn't select it completely, right? I stopped at the half. But it will select it. This is a cross selection. Remove it, so it selects this all. The second one is if I want to select from left to the right, opposite. From left to the right, select it. Look, from left to the right, I will stop at the half. You see now, the wall, the horizontal wall is not selected. This one is not selected. If I want to select, I need to hover it until here or. But in the other side, in the cross selection, if, you, if the mouse cursor is passing through, it will select it all. So this way we can select. And over here we have a selection option, we will see it once we load 
with our worm because those are a selection type. You remember this one, right? This pin, select pin element. If I pin this one, this wall, I'll pin it. I can select it now, right? You can see it. Once I select, it will show me its pin. But when you want to select something, it will bother you by selecting this wall. If you don't like to select it, just remove this one, this pin, select pin, click that, so that nobody can select this wall. It, it will not bother you, only you'll concentrate in your work and need to work. So this way you can uh, make it enable and disable for selecting. Again, if you want to select it, sometimes uh, when you link a file also, you cannot select like that, same thing. So by clicking here, the pin file, you can select. Make sure you check this all. And the first one is select link. <clears throat> this one better, we will see it once we start linking. Because if you link any architecture file, and in this architecture file, you create a new lighting fixture of your own. So when you want, if you want to select your lighting fixture only, it will select all, even the architecture. So if you don't want to select the architecture, the linked file architecture, you will click this one, this yellow, same like pin. If you click here, nobody will select the linked file, but if you remove the cross over here, the X symbol, the red color, then everyone can select it. So this way we can select and deselect. Okay, the next class we will see how to import the model. Before that we can have a cup of tea. Little break.